This kitchen is hard at work, but unlike traditional restaurants or even fast food, this is all made to deliver. The pandemic has shifted the way we interact with restaurants as restrictions and closures hit the industry hard last year. Ghost or virtual kitchen saw an increase in popularity. The concept allows companies to prepare food strictly for delivery, sometimes with multiple brands under one roof sharing a kitchen. Some don't even have a physical restaurant that can seat customers. Euromonitor says these kitchens could create a $1 trillion global opportunity in the food delivery space by 2030. Restaurateur Hagab Diragosian runs eight different concepts from ghost kitchens around the country. He uses space owned by Kitchen United, which gives companies the opportunity to rent out kitchens without the overhead of a full restaurant space. The ghost kitchen model is really about flexibility and, and about speed. It is also a great model for um, brands that aren't as established, you know, smaller brands that are looking to expand into different areas. It, it just reduces the risk and, uh, and the reward is still there. 2019 data from Morningstar finds ghost and virtual kitchens can utilize anywhere between 10 to 50% of the square footage, require 15 to 50% of the labor, depending on program structuring, and generate 75 to 100% of the transactions of a traditional restaurant operating in the same category. The ability to move quickly during this challenging time has been a win for Giragosian, as things have shifted quickly during the pandemic. We're still believers in the traditional restaurant model, but it is, you know, bigger and bulkier and it is harder to uh, move at the pace that, you know, sometimes you would want to. Real estate is also a big part of this trend. And with so many independent restaurants and retail stores closing this year, you're seeing some virtual kitchen companies go in and repurpose that space, along with space in parking lots and places like malls, as investors continue to pour billions of dollars into ghost kitchen startups. For the news, I'm Kate Rogers in San Francisco. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.